Hello and welcome to Soul Horoscope Zodiac Weather. My name is Christopher Watecki and I'm your stand-up astrologer. Well, it's Friday, Friday, April 24, 2009. The sun's now progressed to four degrees Taurus and the moon today moves into Taurus for a light cast day. Let's take a look at those planets. Well, there is a lot going on this weekend. In fact, for everyone not watching Soul Garden, I bet they're all going to say, oh, I really feel summer coming up. Everything's just moving so quickly. But if you watch Soul Garden, you'll know it's the planets. Lots going on. Let's zoom into the sun. Now, this is the hot spot of the whole weekend. For one, it's light cast day. I'll talk about that in a second. For two, the sun today is ruled by Uranus, and we're in chapter one of Sun and Taurus. Now, whenever we have a chapter one Uranus day, it is major breakdown followed by breakthrough. So in each 12 horoscopes, I'm gonna help you figure out where one part of your life will likely break down in the next 24 hours, but that is a weird random gift from the universe because it's pointing at an area that you need to fix in the next 30 day cycle. So there will be some showers followed by some sun for most of the signs. Then on top of that, like I said, it's light cast day. The moon starts in Aries as we begin the day, but by the end of the day, you're going to really feel your emotions shifting as the moon begins to cross the sun. Now, this is one of two very powerful days in the month to cast your intentions into the universe, what you want. Give universe your order of what you want to manifest. And each 12 signs, I'll give you kind of instructions on how to light cast because basically the sun, our awareness, and the moon, our emotions are the two main ingredients for casting reality. So take advantage of this moment, especially if you have a breakdown. But before you click on your horoscope for all that, let's take a look at the modes of each of our brothers and sisters and what they're like casting this weekend. Let's begin with our air signs. Gemini, showers with a good chance of anger. They are actually light casting to get a handle on the weeds, the karmic weeds in their soul garden. Tough one for the Geminis. Librans, cloudy with a chance of storms. It's trust and intimacy issues, so could be some big storms. And the aquas are cloudy, nesting and resting. They're light casting a better home and foundation in this cycle. Now on to our fire signs. Aries, cloudy but feeling cool. They're light casting money and self-esteem this month. The Leo's cloudy but feeling happy. They're actually light casting career and legacy, but they might get fired to, in order to want it. And the Sagittarius are cloudy and hyper aware, light casting health and lifestyle issues. Now on to the dirt signs. Taurus, sunny and super cool. It's their birthday month. They're light casting a new ego and persona for 2009. The Virgo's cloudy and pensive. They're light casting a new belief structure. That's light, not too tough. And the Capricorns are sunny and childlike. They're light casting their personal dreams. Who doesn't want that? Then lastly, our water signs. Cancer, showers the chance of storms, I'm afraid. Light casting a new social status. So look out for that friend that may betray you, Cancer. Scorpio's cloudy with a chance of love issues themselves. Light casting new marriages and partnerships. That's not so much fun. And the Pisces are cloudy and pensive. They're light casting new attitudes and mind games. So those will be light. It'll be mostly intellectual. All right, that's all I have for today's Zodiac Weather. Be sure to click on your horoscope for the details of how to light cast. And we're out there under a nice grounded moon in Taurus, just like me. I'll be in the studio covering your astro.